Hey, these windows are pretty well insulated. You know, windows can be a big problem for energy efficiency in our homes. And if you want to know where else you can be losing energy and money in your home, check out this month's Green It. Hi, I'm Joe Kaiser, The Green Man. You know, when I talk to people about going green, the one thing I seem to hear an awful lot is, I really want to, but I just don't know where to begin. So to get you started, we're going to introduce you to the Home Energy Audit, a way to find out exactly where your home is losing energy, how to remedy some of that, make your house more comfortable, lower your cooling and heating costs, and also reduce emissions from your home. It can even improve the resale value of your home. So why don't we get started right away? This is Ruvain Walder, a certified energy auditor. Ruvain is going to work with us in the house today to find out where we can most easily improve energy efficiency. That's right. Well, this is great, but what do we do now? Where do we start? What does an auditor look for first? Well, what we do when we come into a home is we're going to evaluate it for several different components. Um, the primary thing that we're looking for in the house is air leakage, mm -hmm. and we want to identify where the leakage sources are. The types of leakage we would find in a home are not necessarily what a homeowner thinks about because the big holes in a home or leaks in a home are really out of sight. When most people think about what an energy audit is, they think of windows and doors, and those are very important. However, some of the primary leakage sources are in the attic and the basement or the crawl space. Other kinds of holes are the tops of walls. In fact, the top of these walls here may be very leaky, including wiring penetrations in the tops of those walls uh, or a flue pipe. Those sorts of things may not be sealed where they penetrate through between a living space and an unconditioned outside space. You can see what this hot spot is, Joe. See this? Here in the ceiling, what we actually see is that all around these recessed lights, there must be a patch of insulation missing because you can see by the darker color here, which represents a colder temperature, that there must either be minimal insulation or none around the recessed lights. So we'll take a look at that in the attic. Okay. We will also use a series of tests. Um, that includes a blower door, which we'll in install right here on the front door. Okay. Air is getting pulled down because the fan is pulling air out of the house, and so air is getting pulled into the house okay. through all the holes. So naturally the fireplace is something we really want to check, so we'll, we'll give this a look here. And if you feel at the fireplace, put your hand there. Oh yeah. You can really feel a lot of air coming through. Oh, thank you. And that's with the flue shut. That's right. So with the blower door on, we're able to see a, a lot of leakage down here. Mm -hmm. You can really feel it, can't you? Oh, feel yeah. that air? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you look right up here with your flashlight, you oh, yeah. can see yeah. it's a square opening there. And you've got that round pipe in there. Right. Now, I wasn't so good at geometry, but I, I could figure <laughs> out that there's a leak there. <laughs> Just, just to demonstrate how much air is coming through here, look at that smoke. Oh, yeah. look, at, look at how much air is just blasting through here right now. Okay. You imagine after this house gets sealed, how much, how much more airtight it's going right. to be just from this one hole right here. Joe, so there's a, a couple of important things to consider here in a crawl space like this mm -hmm. down in the basement is that we want to make sure that there's no moisture that's infiltrating into the mm -hmm. house from here. Mm -hmm. So there is a vapor barrier in here, or a it's really a sheet of plastic, but right. it's not been spread out to cover all of the soil down here. Right. And that's absolutely critical that we make sure there's a secure vapor barrier mm -hmm. down here. And there's several other things that we'll also look at in the home, including some of the safety components. We want to make sure that there's no internal air quality concerns in the home before we go ahead and air seal it. Most importantly, carbon monoxide exhaust gas concerns from an oven or the furnace or the water heater. Look at that door. Mm -hmm. You can see that this, this vertical access door here, you can see the leakage now that we've had the blower door running for a while. 
it's starting to cool the surfaces where the leakage is occurring. So the insulation in here is pretty, pretty minimal. We, we want to add more in here. That probably is providing a rough R value or insulation value of about R13. We want to see the insulation value in an attic like this at R49. Joe, it's all, all along here, there's a gap. Air's able to go down the chimney here on the side, this gap between the wooden frame right here and the brick and go straight through into the cavity between the chimney and the flue pipe and go into the house. This is the top of a wall here. There's a gap here on each side of it. Can you see that? That little tiny gap can allow air to get into the wall cavity here. These are the flue pipes. This is the water heater flue pipe and this is the boiler flue pipe here. And there is a penetration where they go through a wall into the conditioned space of the house. There's in fact a very large opening here that needs to be sealed up around this flue pipe. Ruben, will I get something that helps me make sense of all these different tests that you're doing? Yes, absolutely. Um, after an audit, the homeowner will receive a comprehensive report that explains all of the findings in the house as well as recommendations for how to make the improvements. Um, an audit report will also include information about uh, incentives both on a state, local, or federal level. Uh, it'll also include um, a breakdown of projected savings estimates. Barbara Wufain, this is really exciting. Well, I can't thank you enough. And I think the most important thing now for me is to take this information and get started on my list. That's right, you've got quite a list. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're we welcome. do appreciate thank it. Thank you. Looks like Joe's got some work to do. Now, it's very important that when you look for an auditor, you make sure they're certified by either the Building Performance Institute or the Residential Energy Services Network. For a list of certified auditors here in Virginia, you can visit the state website listed below. And while you're there, you can also register to be notified if Virginia brings back their rebate program for energy audits and other home energy improvements. Last year's rebate program was very popular, and we're hoping they make the funds available again in 2010. And for information on federal incentives, please visit www.energystar.gov. There are a lot of great programs out there to help make your home more energy efficient, so you should really consider getting yourself a home audit this year. We'll be right back after a look at the news.